Breaking down Arizona Wildcats football for an 11th season. I'm David Kelly, joined as always by my man Glenn Howe. U of A football class of 1985 and Glenn actually 12 seasons because we yeah. spent that one year on radio in 2010 but now 11 seasons here on yeah. television in the Tucson market our third here with News 4 Tucson big day here on campus as we found out the starting quarterback for the University of Arizona Wildcats and it's going to be Glenn Gunner Cruz yeah. simply because Gunner Cruz will take the first snaps against BYU next Saturday in Las Vegas. But Jed Fish kind of threw us a curveball today, yeah. announcing two quarterbacks will play for Arizona yeah. in that ball game. Your thoughts on going with two guys? Well, I, I think they should go with one, let him play it out, let him go with it, and uh, really try to let him develop because other things that happens is the voice inflection, I think, is an important thing for the offensive lineman. Saying that, that snap count, having them understand that hearing that voice and getting off the ball, what are you supposed to have as the advantage as the offensive lineman is the snap count. The voice inflection and all that stuff, it, it takes a little toll on you. You got to understand that, and I think that's why they need to go with one guy until he breaks down and they have to bring in the other guy. Well, Glenn, it's interesting that you mentioned snap count because that's really something we haven't dealt with a lot here at Arizona yeah. over really the past probably 10 years because it's been mostly shotgun situations going off of a beat or yeah. a, a set count and then a snap off of that. But we're going underneath the center yeah, too. So we're now we're under center because we're, yeah, we're, do, we're doing a lot of stuff, a pro style offense. I love what Jed's doing with the pro style offense. I love what those things are doing. But that voice inflection, I'm just gonna say, I think that's, a, I think that's an issue. Here's why I'm okay with this decision. If this was a bowl team on paper, yeah. I would say you need to make a decision and go with one guy. But let's just be honest. This is not a team yeah. on paper that is, is going to be in bowl contention. That's not to say they yeah. won't go to a bowl game, but a lot of things are going to have to happen for them to be able to win six games and get to that 13th game this season. So I'm okay with the fact that you want to still – figure this out. You mentioned the two guys were even through camp, um, play two guys, and then figure out this thing as you go along. I'm okay with that simply from the fact because they're not a bowl team on paper. And, and, and my whole thing is not voice inflection, dude. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's giving them the continuity with the offense and the offensive line, the receivers and everything, and having that understanding that, hey, I'm in here, I'm going to go in here until as, as long as I can. You know, and I'm going to keep on in every single series you get. And if they're going until you go, until you until you mess up, you know, that's that's the way it's going to be. I think that's the way it's going to be. And I think that if you name a the number one quarterback, gives you confidence when you're in there and you can have to worry about, hey, I know there's another guy behind me, but I'm the number one guy. So I feel that that's that's a big thing as, as far as mental. OK, with two quarterbacks, then how would you break this down in terms of Obviously, you're going to have Gunnar Cruz in there. Yeah. Um, would you do it? He didn't say it's going to be an every series type thing. Do you need to give that quarterback one or two consecutive series to oh, get yeah. a flow going? Oh, yeah. Or can you do an every uh, series? He even talked about there was a situation down in Florida where they alternated every snaps, which yeah. was <laughs> – Yeah, yeah. I got to go back and read yeah, about that Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would be personally, you know, I don't get the big bucks, but I would go a half. And then if he's going good at the half, he's doing really well, leave him in. If he's, if he's not doing as well, then we take him out and put in. Well, that, well, that defeats the whole purpose of I having know. two I, quarterbacks. I, I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But that's what I would do with two quarterbacks. That's what I would do. Okay. Well, I'm we, telling you. Well, we still got a couple of weeks for these guys, uh, really less than two weeks now for these guys to get ready for the opener at BYU on uh, Saturday, September 4th. And that's going to be interesting, Glenn, just because you're playing in an NFL stadium with yeah. the debut of this new staff. Oh, yeah. It's it's going to be packed. Your new stadium. Yeah. Your Raiders My, new stadium. I'm a Raider fan. <laughs> it's going to be packed. There's people. There's plenty of people buying tickets. And BYU travels well. Mm. And they're going to love going to, to Las Vegas. I think it's going to be great for the university. And I think that we are – I think our guys are going to be excited. And don't be surprised if we pull out one and pull this game out. <laughs> and, you know, I love, the, I love this rivalry between Arizona and BYU. I want to yeah. see more of these games. It's a natural 
fit. It takes you back yeah. to, the, to the old days in the 1960s and the 1970s when yep. Arizona and BYU played annually. You mentioned no. the fact, and, and I've mentioned it before, you've got a huge Mormon population here yep. in the state of Arizona. We lose yes. some kids to BYU when you when you talk about the Matt Bushmans Bushman, out of Sabino yep. and, and some of those say. kids. So I think it makes for a very natural rivalry to have these two teams play, and I'd like to see it happen a lot more often. It's going to be a physical game. And if Arizona goes back to where we used to be, very physical, <laughs> we're going to be in this game. We have to be physical with BYU. BYU is, is a bunch of grown men just playing bully ball. And that's what they're going to try to do to us. And if we get back into physical play, and and Mr. Brown is going to bring everybody, even people in the stands are going to be coming in. <laughs> okay, Blitzen. So they better be ready because I think the Cats will be ready and raring, raring to go. All right, we've got two quarterbacks to start the season at BYU. Gunnar Cruz will take the first snaps. Will Plummer will play as well. Our first edition of Wildcat Breakdown, season number 11, our 10th anniversary year. And, and, and we're actually going to have some very interesting stuff. I'm going to go into the vault Glenn and pull out some of our initial oh, no. appearances from 2010 and 2011. We'll have those out on social media for some of the people to watch how we used to do it uh, way back in the day when we first started oh, doing man. it as well. So that'll be great. <laughs> I, you still I won't have you, gray hair. You still didn't have any hair back yeah, exactly. then either, so it won't matter. It It'll won't be matter. great. All right, stay with us for our continuing coverage of Arizona Wildcats football.